weekend and it's also time to start making your plans for the weekend and we're kicking off the show with an idea for all the film lovers out there. It's the 46th annual Denver Film Festival. It kicks off this weekend and Matt Campbell, the artistic director, took a break from getting everything mm -hmm. set up to come chat with us this morning. Hello Matt, how Hello. are you? Hello, thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. You are a busy bee right now because we are. Yeah, you Absolutely. are getting ready for opening night. Always an exciting time. Very much so, yeah. Kicking off tomorrow at the uh -huh. L.A. Hawkins Opera House with American Fiction, so we're very excited for that. I've heard some good stuff about American Fiction. Absolutely. You're in the building. Now, this is the 46th Denver Film Festival. How has this evolved over the years, Matt? Well, it's grown quite a bit, you know, over 46 sure. years just as Denver itself. Mm -hmm. uh, the biggest change is that we have a year-round home, the C Film Center now, over on East Colfax. But we've operated all around the city for years, and we have stayed true to our roots of, you know, really celebrating international cinema. So that has remained consistent for 46 years. And that is awesome and why it keeps growing year after year. Now, what can we expect this year? So this year, there's going to be quite the eclectic mix of films. We have over 180 films to choose from, including short films, over 110 features. And it's going to be a huge celebration of cinema. Of course, again, kicking off tomorrow night with American Fiction, which is going to be a big awards race contender. It won the Audience Award at the Toronto International Film Festival earlier this awesome. year, and that's a big indicator for success on the awards circuit. Absolutely, and for film lovers, again, this is going to be one of the ones to watch. Now, we hear there are some local connections to a few of the films this year. We're excited to hear about that. As is every year, but uh, this year, incredible selection. We have one that in particular is very special called The Space Race. This is a okay. documentary about the African-American trailblazers within the NASA space program. And Ed Dwight, who's a local of Denver, is one of the prof people profiled in the film. And he is one of the first people to enter into the NASA program. So he will be there for a conversation afterwards with Stephanie Rance, who's the co-founder of the Martha's Vineyard African American Film Festival. Okay. It's going to have a huge friends and family contingent oh. at the screening. It's going to be at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, so it's going to be a really special night. What a neat story, Absolutely. and the fact that the local connections are yeah. there makes it even that more special. Now, we all know that the red carpet is always fun at any movie premiere, but who will be walking it this year or anything cool happening on that red carpet? So we'll have multiple red carpets. We try to get all of our filmmakers that are attending yeah. to walk, uh, but a a couple standouts, again, a local connection. Our closing night film is ISS, which stands for International Space Station. And the director is Gabriella Copperwaith, who's a very accomplished director, but she's also a native from Denver. And uh, she'll be here to receive the Barbara Bridges Inspiration Award. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be a fantastic oh, closing night as well. That is yeah. so cool. And what a neat collaboration of people all coming together. Yeah. Um, another cool part of this festival is the opportunity for directors and the actors to kind of make their debut. Anyone you are excited about this year? Very much so. So we have Michael Shannon, who is, you know, a famous actor, mm -hmm. but he's coming with his directorial debut, Eric LaRue. So that'll be really great. We're going to give him the Breakthrough Director Award. Also, another uh, one that I would love to mention is our 5280 Award, which is new this year, and we're honoring Spider-Man into the, or across the Spider-Verse. Uh -huh. We're bringing out the whole creative team to honor them for their collaborative spirit in creating such an amazing animated film. So that'll be a yeah. really special night. Oh my goodness, that is a big deal. I know my daughter, the older one, is a huge fan of that. So very, very cool. Now, here is the best part, everyone. Yes, there are still tickets, especially for American Fiction, which is tomorrow. Absolutely. How do we get those, Matt? Go to denverfilm.org and you can see the whole schedule and buy tickets there. Okay, and 100 films, you said. Yep. So there's still plenty of films, plenty of opportunities for people. Absolutely. We'll be operating through Sunday, November 12th, both okay. at the C Film Center, the AMC on Colorado 9th Boulevard, the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, the Botanics uh, Gardens, and the Holiday Theater up in uh, the Highlands. So, so all over town. All over town is an opportunity to go see a good film. Thank you so much, Matt, for being with us today. Of, of course. course, we will be around at some point to see some of these great films. But thank you again to the Denver Film Festival for taking the time this morning. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Okay. And the 46th Denver Film Festival kicks off this weekend. If you want tickets or you want to see a full list of events,
events and screenings. You can check it all out at denverfilm.org.